Thursday, really rattling through the week. So, of course, Fed last night, um, not a huge amount of movement off the back of that. I guess the one move really uh, of note has been gold. Um, gold has uh, finally managed to break out of its range. It's been a beautiful range, uh, which we've been looking at. Um, over, we've looked at it for a, for a while now, haven't we? Let's just flick, actually. Let's just come across to that chart. Let's bring up, um, let's bring up gold. Just looking at it on this 30 minute chart, it's been really great to see actually, it's a beautiful range to trade. Okay, the support levels did hold. Now it took its time. Okay, we failed multiple times down through here. We saw the little spike lower off the back of the initial rate decision, but we did fail to close through. Uh, and now um, overnight and through this morning, we have seen a break of this range. Uh, and it's been really nice to see actually, a nice clean break, an impulsive breakout um, and that now price now up towards and getting up to and testing and just pausing momentarily uh, up at these previous highs up through here. So uh, really cool to see. Uh, that's probably the, one of the bigger moves. Uh, some of the moving averages also being broken, just seeing here this four hour chart, um, and all the break of all of these moving averages here, which um, is nice to see and just confirms that we're seeing this bullish move. I and mean, even on the daily, some of these moving averages now, we're, we're starting to see a break through them. Uh, and it was cool to see just before this went long, you know, just before this really kicked in, we did get some nice four hour candlestick formations. Uh, we had a hammer pattern right the way testing these lows. Um, we then, then reached lower once. And again, that was confirmed with another hammer next up. And then since then, uh, it's all been one way traffic.